The effect of warm water on specific plants. Jackson Wagner, Jamestown High School. <laughs> Introduction. Our ocean and waterways are heating up and it is killing our plants and animals that inhabit these beautiful bodies of water. The ocean is home to about 1 million species of animals. This research is important as water temperatures continue to increase due to climate change. There could be a detrimental impact to the food sources these e ecosystems rely on. If the waters heat up due to climate change and then the warm waters affect the plants negatively, that would then kill off the plant species, which would then affect the fish who eat the plants, and there being less fish for the apex predators to eat, which this could explain why there have been more shark sightings than ever in the past year, and will explain why sharks are coming inland to look for new sources of food. If the water temperature rises and affects the plant, then we know that it is affecting the fish and would explain why the sharks are coming to the beachfronts and populated human areas more because of less food sources in their environment. Experimental design. Some of the questions I had were, what temperature of water would the plants show negative effects? Which plant would do the best of all three? And then my hypothesis was, if the warm water affects the plants and the fish who eat the plants will run out of food. I suspected that the warmest temperatures will have a negative impact on the plants and they will die. Another, some more questions I had were, what will happen if they do well in warm water? And what if they do well in warm water? What does that mean? Procedure. Jackson's procedure for this project was comprised of three different fish tanks from the company Topfin. Then Jackson bought three plants, which are called fresh and saltwater ferns. Jackson then put two medium-sized rocks in each tank so that the ferns could attach to the rocks and start growing roots to the rocks. Jackson did some research and found out that the ferns prefer to attach to rocks to grow their roots. Jackson then inser inserted all three plants into their own individual tanks. Jackson then bought three water heaters for each tank and inserted them in the tank. Jackson then set the first tank uh, at 62.6 degrees, which is the average temperature for ocean water um, in present day. So that was the control group. Jackson then set the second tank to 69.1 degrees, which is representing the water temperature in 50 years. The water temperature on average increases 0 0.13 degrees Fahrenheit each year. Jackson then set the third tank to 75.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is supposed to represent 50 more years, which could be the year 3020. Every 50 years, the water temperature increases 6.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Jackson then recorded and observed the plant's behavior and physical appearance for two weeks. Risk and safety. The water needs to stay in the tank and not spill because if it gets near the water heater cords, it could cause a problem and electrocute me. And then uh, there are no other safety risk and preca precautions. Results. So the first tank was 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. The second tank, which is representing 50 years, was 69.1 Fahrenheit. The third tank, which is representing 100 years, equals 75.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. So day one, I put the plants in each tank. Plants are all looking healthy. Day two, tank one looks healthy as well as tank two. Tank three, the plant is showing black dots on one leaf. Day three, tank one, plant is showing plant is starting to develop black dots. Tank two is healthy. Tank three still has black dots. Day four, no apparent physical changes. Day five, no physical changes, except control groups starting to see more black dots. Day six, tank one and tank three both showing black dots still. Second tank, perfectly healthy. Day seven, no physical changes. Day eight, no physical changes. Results continue. Day nine, tank one and two have black dots still. Tank day 10, no physical changes observed. Day 11, no physical changes observed. Day 12, no physical changes. Day 13, tank 3 has two leaves that are browning. Day 14, tank 3 has one stem that is turning brown and the leaf is also turning black as well. Tank 2 all, looks all green. Tank 1 has lots of browning. Day 15, no new physical changes. Day 16, tank 1 has lots of browning. Tank 3 has one leaf that is very brown. And tank 2 looks completely healthy. So, discussion. The control, the control group, for some reason, wasn't doing as good as uh, my hypothesis expected. The control experienced some unexpected browning. This information is useful because it shows that us that these freshwater and saltwater ferns do not do well in warm water, which will happen in 100 years because of global warming and climate change. If the ferns die that certain fish species eat, then the fish will run out of food, which then could mean they die without any food. This would turn into lack of prey for apex predators, which means they would have to find a new source of food. This is already happening with the more shark attack numbers and shark sightings in the world today. In 100 years without food for the apex predators, humans could be their only food source. This could cause major problems for humanity because we would also run out of food, and that could turn into starvation for humans. Conclusion So Jackson assessed the results and then realized that his hypothesis didn't match. 
Jackson concluded that 75.6 Fahrenheit degrees representing 100 years from now had a very negative impact on the plant. This means that in 100 years with the water temperature at 75.6 degrees, the fresh and saltwater furnace will die. Jackson's hypothesis was somewhat supported with the third tank. It was showing negative effects to the increase in temperature, which the rise in temperature is representing the climate change and global warming on Earth in 100 years. Um, these are my references that I got my data from. And then uh, I'd like to thank my chemistry teacher, Mrs. Cosby, for giving me this opportunity. And I would also like to thank Jamestown High School for offering this program. Thank you.